Hi, my name is Alas Abrahim. Yes, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. Uh, I have to just do something about Photoshop. Yes, so uh, from now onwards, I just want to go in angle by angle. Yes, so I'll take you through Photoshop, how to design, how to use Photoshop to do uh, unexpected or what people don't think that Photoshop can do today or today onwards i'm going to show you how to do that yes so today i just want to take you through some basic let's say basic if you don't even know anything on photoshop you just try and open it and follow what i'm doing you'll be able to become a good and a pro when it comes to using of photoshop so yes so what i want to do now is to just come and click on file Clicking on file means you want to create a document, you want to open a document, you want to save a document, you want to do a whole lot of things on it. So when you open it, you see new document, open, browse, in bridge, open as, open as smart object, a whole lot of things are there. So first thing I have to do is to open a new document. And there is my new document that I've just created. There is a sub panel that comes up yes so this is document name so you said document name oh, okay document is say training i just oh training 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 okay training all right then document type i want to use so uh, default photoshop size it's okay for me and the default photoshop size is what seven by what five in all in inches resolution 300 is okay for me the color rgb is okay for me background content should be white it's okay for me then you click okay all right so this is what we have so this is default photoshop size and this is the, the the type of document that i want to use you through but what am i going to do i'm going to show you this tools how to use these tools yes so first of all let's start with the first tool the first tool is V, uh, symbol V, that's move tool, it's move tool. Why do they call it move tool? Move, anything you can use it to move. That is what a move tool. First of all, let me just draw something like this for here, rectangular tool. Okay, what color, black color is okay for me. Look, I draw it, I use this rectangular tool to draw but i can't use it to move it because if i try to move it i'll draw another one you get that yes but i want to move that particular thing so if i new to photoshop after drawing something like this all what you need to do is to come and click on move tool over there move then you can now move it to here and move this one to here there is just how photoshop how to use them the move tool even when you type something in that particular move tool that you will use to move it around anyhow you want it you can even move it in and no one will even see it but you can bring it in when you like so that's how we use move tool on photoshop the next thing that i'll check on is at board tool at board tool at board tool okay let me use custom custom add board to just look at what i'm going to do over here and you see something you will see that i use the add board to and you see something has come add board one and this one and that one a whole lot of you know plus and those kind of things are there but when you come to your layer this is layer panel you see that everything that i created that ma ma uh, rectangle to the they grouped into the what into the artboard tool but let me do something over here let me move this one out from the artboard tool yes look at something here i have moved the background Be I, when i move the background out of the artboard tools 
it means that the add ball tool is over here but the whole background is here you see check something that is the add ball tool but when i on that particular background you see that is there so when you are using add ball tool it makes your work in a such a way that it it, it compile everything into a box on so that you can easily work so that you won't get uh, after that after saving you won't get different sizes added or any what is the name any spaces added to your design so if we are going to design something for a web for a mobile phone and those kind of things just try and use your add board tool and that will be good yes so that's how we use add board tool yes um okay let me just delete it i don't need it i don't need it i don't need it i don't look look and when i don't so show you something you see that i have duplicated the add board tool and we have two different uh, uh, document type here this one and this one because of so when you're when you're using artboard it has advanced that you can use it for book layouts what layout a whole lot of things that you can use the artboard tool for you get that yes so always try to know what you you are you are working with you get that so let's delete it delete it delete it delete it okay let me on this one and come over here and group at i have ungrouped it so let me have something like this yes so that is what i've just done so let me delete this one and let's come to our tools let's come to rectangular marquee tool rectangular marquee tool helps to to cut some part of image or anything that you want to do so when you do something like this it has done that but before you cut this tool what we need to do is we need to rasterize this layer so when you click then you can rasterize what layer then when you rasterize when you right click and come layer view cut it will cut you get that you get that you can even move it you can move this one over here move the one here it means that you use the what the rectangle marking tool to move it you can also use a elliptical marking tool and that one will be like a circle you get it it's like a circle let me close this one and let me cut it again cut it and you have something like this you see that so when you come to that rectangular marking tool ellipse tool it helps you to cut either you want to cut it a rectangular a square form yes you want to cut it in in a, in, a, in a what in a circular form you can use it and you can use the single rule the column rule to do that that is why we use the uh rectangular marking tool or elliptical marking tool fine so let's come to our next this thing laser laser tool the laser tool is such kind of this thing that uh maybe you just you are just working and you don't want some part of a image let me just import in an image okay let me see let me see let me see which image will i use which image will, okay let me use this foot all right okay thank you okay come here foot okay so this one this one is smart object so you rationalize it before you can cut it so you come and pick laser tool laser tool you just have to say i want to cut this part so you just click and hold and go around that particular thing and you see that that particular this thing will come up you see the market tool function will come up then you right click and cut and when you cut you have only this it's also used to, for cutting a whole lot of functions yes so let me bring it back i don't want to cut it so let me bring it back okay so you go to the next thing polygonia to polygonia something anything that is polygonia this one can also do the the polygonia function you want to cut here cut here cut here cut here cut here and cut here and then cut there you only want this place to be cut then you right click and cut it 
then you have something like this polygonia anything that you don't think you can use to cut that is what you just have to do and it will cut it normally and goodly for you yes fine so let's come back to a uh, magnetic laser tool the magnetic laser tool is, is I love it but it's sometimes very difficult to use but you don't need to be make it difficult when you select it and you click once the thing asks you to move then when you are moving look at when you are moving it selects the thing goodly it will select all the edges very 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 good but if you don't take your time when moving you can have different thing all together you see you see you see you see you see this way it means that it has selected the distance so that is what we use the magnetic laser tool that's what, how we use to cut things so when you do this and you don't want it that way then you just cut it off simple yes so this is magnetic laser tool and that is how we do that thank you very much for watching uh our next tutorial will be the uh quick selection tool i've already done that and then a magic wall tool thank you thank you very much for watching my tutorial the next thing just get in touch bye bye